The Micro Air Digital Thermostat is a very nice upgrade for the Dometic air condition that comes on most Airstreams. In this video, I'm going to explain how to set up the Bluetooth and the Wi-Fi functions so you can control and monitor your thermostat from your smart device. Hi everyone, I'm Brad from 13 Adventures. Join me in setting these functions up. If you need the installation video for this device and your rig, Air Gear has already done one of those and you can find that at the link up here. Before I get going, I want to explain some differences in functionality between Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. Bluetooth means you can connect directly to your smart device and you can control and monitor your air condition from in and around your rig from your smart device. The Wi-Fi function means you can control it from somewhere outside the park via the internet, but you have to have other things to make that happen. You have to have a hotspot within your rig, you have to connect to some type of Wi-Fi or internet, maybe the RV park or something like that, but it requires extra steps. I'm going to show you both of those in here in case you need to do it, but let's go ahead and get started on the install of the app on your smart device. So the first thing you need to do, I have an Apple phone here, but I'm going to go to the Apple store, the app store. You can get yours from a Google Play store, wherever you get your apps from, but I'm going to type in micro air, hit search. The first one that pops up here is Easy Touch RV, which is the one you need for this device. So I'm going to download that. I have an account already so I can log directly into that account, but if I don't, all I have to do is create a new account with an email address. They will send you a verification email to make sure that that's you, and then you can log in with your password that you've created. So I'm going to log into my account now. So now that I've logged in, it gives me the options to connect via Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. The very first thing I want to connect to is Bluetooth. As you can see on my screen, the first time I logged in here, I have the Airbnb show up, which is the name of this device because I renamed it. If I hadn't renamed it already, I'd be able to click on that and rename it to whatever name I want to give it. From there, once it's renamed, or if you just choose not to rename it, that's fine. I click on this and I can see the functionality of it. But first of all, it's going to synchronize and this takes some time. Screen comes on, it's now synchronized to where I am and synchronized to this device here via Bluetooth. The first thing I want to do once it's connected to the device and synchronized and connected, I want to hit the gear icon and I want to check for updates. If there are any updates to this firmware, it will download through your phone and Bluetooth over to the device and then update the device. And you will see this device restart once that happens. And that's the first thing you should do before you go any further. From there, you can control the device. I have options of zone one, zone two, depending on how many air conditions you have, fan speed, on off heat pump I can do everything from here is the same as I would from the screen and the buttons are almost identical remember that being connected to the Bluetooth feature only allows you to control and monitor your air condition and heater in and around your rig for example laying in bed and you want to adjust the air condition temperature sitting outside you want to turn on your furnace something along those lines but you cannot control it outside of the campground and we'll get to that in a moment the next portion I'd like to discuss is connecting to the Wi-Fi. So back from the main screen, I connect it via Bluetooth, which is where you have to go first. I select the device, the Airbnb. I select the gear icon. And here I can edit Wi-Fi settings. So I want to click on that. And it's going to scan for any device, any Wi-Fi type device in the area. I want to select and it gives me a list of everything that's localized to me right now. So some of this is campground, some of this is other RVers near me, but mine is the T-Mobile version. Then I can type in my password and then I hit send and it sends it over to the device here. Once it sends it over it will refresh the connection and restart this device and then you're able to touch this device and you're able to see a Wi-Fi icon up here in the top corner now I go back to the main screen on my phone here and I connect via Wi-Fi Then I touch the Airbnb and it goes through that process. The password is already in there and I can see that it's loading and now the screen changes so I know that I'm connected via the internet to my device from my smart device. And from here controlling the air condition is no different. I can turn it on, I can change the zones, I can go temperature up and down and so on and so forth utilizing the settings that are in there. The advantage to having the Wi-Fi connection is that you can use your device to monitor and control your temperature in your rig from a remote location. For example, you're out on a hike, you're at breakfast with friends, something like that. But as I mentioned earlier, you have to have a hotspot or some Wi-Fi device within your rig to control that. 
Thanks for joining me on this tutorial today. I hope you enjoy using your smart device to control and monitor the temperature within your rig. Have a great day everyone and happy adventures.